Hello and welcome to the Virtual Island Tour app tutorial using Thunkable. We're going to start today with a question, what is a map? And then a second question, what is an interactive map? Take a few minutes and think about the difference between a map and an interactive map and think about the features that you would include on an interactive map. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to think about interactive maps and maybe look at a few examples. We are going to make an app today that takes users on a virtual tour around a fictional island. So an island that doesn't really exist, but you've made it um, as you've been studying about geography and different landforms. Um, we are going to make sure that you use all of that good geography vocab that you've been learning. Uh, and we are going to make an app that looks like this. So we have a screen one over here and it has a title on it. Welcome to Adventure Island. That's the title of my island. You can certainly make yours um, whatever your island is. And then we'll have a picture of your map in the background with different uh, circles on top of that that you can tap. And when one of those is tapped, it opens a new page. This page I've titled Exports because one of the largest largest exports in my island is fish. And so I have that ball or that circle located on the water. Um, I also have a picture of a fish on here on my second screen, along with the title and the information. And I have this here, this is a sound icon. That's just to symbolize that I'm going to be narrating um, some of the content on that page. I also have a home button that will go back. So there's a lot going on on this page and we're gonna learn how to code that um, and also on this page. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to thunkable.com and click sign in. We're making an Android app today, so click Android, and then you'll sign in with your Google account. When you get into this page right here, you'll see any other account or any other apps that other people have made in this account, uh, but today we're going to create new app. And this is where you will put in the title of your app. Mine is going to be Adventure Island and you can put the name of your island. When you click OK, you'll be taken into the uh, screen where we build our apps. So if you look on the left, this is our palette. These are all of our different categories of elements that we can drag over onto our screen. And on the right, we have the properties of those elements that we can drag over. So let's start with that title. We were going to have a title at the top that says, Welcome to our island. So that's going to be just a regular label. Be sure not to select text box. That's something that the user of your app would be able to type in. We don't want them typing in it, so we just want a label. So we drag it over wherever you see the blue line is where it's going to land. And then to change the properties of this label on the right hand side under properties, we can scroll down to text and type in the text that we want on our label. Welcome to Adventure Island. And then we can change things like make it bold. We can make it bigger. I'm going to make mine maybe size 44. And then I'm also going to change the color. Um, notice how it went off the edges here. That is completely OK. When we test our app on a tablet, it will wrap to multiple lines. So we don't have to worry about that um, right now. It may look funny while we're working on it, but it won't look funny when we actually test it. Um, while you're thinking about color, you can change the background color of your screen. You have screen selected up here and then you can go down to background color. So maybe if you wanted um, a different background color, you can go ahead and do that now. All right, the next thing we're going to do is get a canvas because that's going to be the background um, for all of our interactive elements. So we're in drawing and animation, we're gonna drag a canvas over. That canvas, we want to be to fill the rest of this space. So if you look over in the properties of the canvas, you can change the height and width and we're going to select Fill Parent and press OK for both height and width. That means that it's going to fill all of the remaining space. That's great. The next thing we need to do is insert a picture to be the background of this canvas. So hopefully you've already saved your background, your image of an, a map, and we are going to grab it by going here to Background Image. So make sure that Canvas 1 is selected. Go to Background Image and Upload File choose file and then hopefully on your computer somewhere you have an image of your map. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in there. Okay so mine stretched a little bit and so if you don't like that if you want yours to be um, you may need to play around with the size of the height so instead of fill parent 
maybe, I'm going to say that this is probably about 400 pixels tall. So I'm going to change it to be maybe 250 pixels. And that looks better to me. So you can play around with the size uh, to make the canvas fit your image that, that you have, your map image. All right, for the interactive elements, we're going to draw some of these balls over on top of the island. So we're going to just drag them to different places that we think we might have landmarks or landforms or information that we want to share with visitors. So in my example, I used export um, and I chose the water as the location for that. Now, when I have this here, sometimes these have a tendency to jump around or move to different spots depending on the device that you test it on. So what I'm actually gonna to do to make it stay in that exact location, this is ball three for me, I'm gonna go over here to the location of that ball, which is X and Y over here, and I'm gonna retype in the same numbers or something close to it. So I'm gonna do 170 and I'm gonna do 180. All right, that will tell the computer that I definitely want it in that location. What that means is the X is the 170 going this way. So it's 170 pixels horizontally um, from the left-hand side over here. And the Y is 180 pixels down from the top. So that's what, how we know what these numbers mean. It's kind of like the game Battleship. It's a coordinate grid. So anyway, I have this ball here and that needs to open a new page, a new screen. And let's go back up to our example here and see what I had. It's going to be called exports, and I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff on that page. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to add a screen. I'm going to call that screen exports. Okay, and then I'll say okay. Now this is going to take me to a blank screen that I will, uh, at some point, I will be turning this into information about exports. But for now, I'm going to go back to my screen one, and I'm going to do that same thing for the rest of these balls. So today we're focusing on putting the balls on top of our interactive map. We are thinking about what, it, what page those balls are going to lead to, and we're creating those pages. So for example, if this one uh, was a certain mountain or a river or something like that, I would go to add screen, and I don't want screen two, I'm gonna call it river, or whatever you want to focus on there. So that's my ball four. So ball four is going to open the river page. All right, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and uh, fix all of your balls over here so that they lead to a new page. So you're adding screens and you're giving them titles that relate to um, the different features of your map that you want.